Welcome back. Did I just peek? I didn't. See, Roger, that's how you do it. That's exactly Welcome back. Not peek. <laughs> Welcome back to the Wasted Local Fantasy Football Podcast. I am your host, Daniel, alongside our other host. It's me, Josiah, Josiah. who is losing his voice currently. I am. That is correct. Because he's on every podcast that we do, except for Video Game Mythos and D and D kind of. But he, so he's on half the podcast. He's on half I the have podcast a podcast to record after this as well. Yeah. <laughs> I was Along. on the phone all day too. That's not good. Did you go back to Teletech? No, never. Never. Me neither. Along with the guy we buried twice. Yes. That's a quite a distinguished honor, being <laughs> buried twice. And I lost. You're still yeah, here. Yeah, and you lost. And I lost again. My goodness. How much dirt do we have to throw on this man? It's, it's, it's not that how much dirt year. we have to dig up to <laughs> get a grave big enough for it's, it's That's the biggest problem here. I, and I, I emphasize the word biggest problem here. <laughs> biggest problem. I mean, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure the gravekeeper's still out there digging. Mm-hmm. It's Roger Harper from Gurus of Gaming. Yes. Hey. So, I'm before, to peak today. before we jump into everything, you should check out our other podcasts on the 13 Palm Trees Network. We've got, obviously, Wasted Local Talent, which you're listening to now. Best podcast ever. Great podcast. We've got D&D Kinda. Great podcast. Great podcast. We've got a new episode coming out on Thursday Ooh. that is awesome. I just finished it up today. Ooh. And sorry, we... Uh, D&D Kinda, we got on Spreaker, which is a, an, an advertising company platform. So there are there is now an ad in the middle of the episode, but it's not randomly placed. We actually recorded it to where it goes right into it and then right nice. back out. So And it's, it's from like a bigger company. So we're trying to get uh, D&D Kinda out there a little bit more so we can, you know, kind of grow and expand on it. Yeah. Because um, that's our big market podcast right now. Absolutely. Uh, we also have Video Game Mythos. Great podcast. Great podcast. And Gurus of Gaming. Shit and podcast. Man. <laughs> Wait, is that the one I host? That is the one you host. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't say that, such bad things about my own show. No, I it's mean, okay. Just eyes on it sometimes. Everybody else says so bad things about okay. it too. What did we talk about <laughs> last week on Gurus of Gaming? Um, November Games. November Games. We if talked about... you're a fan of November... Or games, you should listen. Death Stranding and Jedi Fallen Order. Indeed. Nice. I don't know what either of those things are, but I was on that episode. <laughs> That's because you literally jetted every game. Weird. I watched Weird. every stinking trailer, well, and true. they all sucked. This is true. <laughs> Even for the Star Wars game? Yes. Well, Je- Listen, Josiah doesn't have good taste in things. He doesn't like Star Wars or ketchup. Yes. Man, Patrick Mahomes would hate you. I, I can't say I trust somebody who doesn't like ketchup or Star Wars. I don't like ketchup because nobody should like ketchup. I don't like Star Wars because I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you start on like the like the one, two, and three that came out? In no, the- I watched four, five, and six, and then one, two, and three, and I said that's dumb. So then I watched one, two, three, four, five, six, like you should, and then I decided that after all that work, it still sucked. That's fair. You know what else sucks? The Matrix. Wow. The Matrix wow. is much better. Not a fan. I knew that one also triggered his eye, so. It triggers me. I love uh, the Matrix. I wasn't going to trigger you. I was going to trigger him, so. Yeah, well, he, you both just triggered me, so. <laughs> Looks like I got two new uh, losers of the week. Yeah. No. Um, okay, so let's jump into this. Uh, we're doing things a little bit different this week. We got a few segments that we're not doing because. Uh, I'm not like our, do them. Well, no, not that. It's just, <laughs> I mean, well, that and. Um, we tried with Roger before the podcast, and he just couldn't figure it out. Yeah. It's actually our second record. What's this, yeah. what's this foosball thing again? <laughs> what's foosball? No, no wonder Obviously. I got the record on there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're not going to do our playoff bracket stuff because nothing's changed. Uh, so we're just going to jump into the matchups uh, from this past week. Week nine? Is it? Yeah, week nine. Yep. All right. So first off. Hover Around Genocide defeated Bald Bear Fighter. That's me defeating Jed. Uh-huh. You'll love to see it. 146.4 to 140, 142.8 on the last play of the game on Monday Night Football with a fumble recovery for a touchdown by Jordan Lewis pushing me just over the edge, keeping Jed in his losing streak, which what, is now a four-game losing streak, by the way. When I saw the uh, the score of that game Monday morning, I thought to myself, Daniel's lost this. There's no way he's beating Jed. Dude, I went crazy i know because i had 17 text (laughs) messages the next morning i looked at this game before the monday night matchup and i was like it could happen i mean possibly but i did not expect it to happen from the dallas defense i expected amari cooper to need 30 points but it 
I mean, you had Christian McCaffrey do his thing, 36 points. You had Tyreek Hill, the new member of your team, 23 points. You had Thank Lamar you, Jackson, You're welcome. 28.6 points, which... Against the Pats, which is awesome. It's inconveniently convenient that the Steelers actually need the Ravens to win, so of course the Patriots decide to suck. I am a conspiracy theorist, and I know <laughs> they blew that game just so the Steelers wouldn't be able to make the playoffs. And then Cowboys defense showed up for you. So Big even time. though Tyler Lockett and Marvin Jones Jr. just about put you down single-handedly because Jed was struggling for a while. I remember before the 4 o'clock game, he had about 17 points total. I'm exaggerating, but... It was close to that. It was, it was not much. Like 40 and then something. the 4 o'clock games came, and he came all yeah. over your team. I mean, just the combination of McCaffrey and Lamar Jackson was just unbeatable. Of course, McCaffrey typically is uh, pretty unbeatable on stop one last. And I really hate how so far this season everybody's been so centric on Russell Wilson being the MVP, and now a lot of the attention is going to Lamar Jackson, which it's fine. But, like, mm-hmm. why are we not talking about Christian McCaffrey in this scenario? The, some people are, um, but... I think it's more based on like what like position like, and team ranking. Well, it, a lot of it has to do with position, right? Because the and, Panthers aren't, you know, they don't have the best record. Yeah. I'm like, you know, obviously the Seattle's what lost two games, Baltimore's lost two games. I, you, you take away Russell Wilson from the Seahawks, that team is uh, an zero and sixteen team. Yeah, and if you take Hands away down. if you take away Lamar Jackson out of the Ravens, who is our, who even is the Ravens' backup quarterback? I think it's Joe Flacco. No, no Joe Flacco. <laughs> Joe Flacco just got released by Denver. Did he get released or he, no? His IR. Is yeah, it? he's. I believe no, it is IR. IR. He got put in the IR. There you go. Conveniently, after his comments about the coaching, he gets put on injured reserve with a neck injury. So, yeah, because mm-hmm. his head somebody, is so big. Somebody tried to Epstein him. Um, Wish so would have yeah. done that to me. <laughs> <laughs> we can make you it happen. You did to yourself. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I beat Jed. Yeah. So, so, I'm so happy about it. All right, so we'll move on to the next game. Mind Flayer Bonner just squirted by VH Loop of Batman. It's Brittany versus Bruce. 91.2 to 89.6, pushing Brittany ever closer to the number four spot in the playoffs. I'm telling you, she might, especially with what happened in one of these other games we're going to talk about here shortly, it's, she might sneak in. I've been saying it for weeks that she can do it. Like, so... The way that the standings are right now, she is, I mean, she's right next to Michael. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's its going to be a what's battle the, these what's next What's the point differential weeks. there? Do the point differential? Um, Michael is ahead of her in points. Okay. Um, so she'd, she'd still have to overcome that, but with right. the way Michael's team's been doing. And the way like, Brittany's team has been doing. Yeah. It's its scary because i got to play Brittany next week. So. Right. And she didn't, she didn't necessarily go nuts this week. Yeah, it was only 91.2 points. Yeah. But at the same time, she had another bad week from Juju, who I feel like is going to be hot and cold for the rest of the season. And that's, she, I, mean, I mean, that's 10 extra points and right. she's over 100. So. Mm-hmm. And I mean, Josh Lambeau, he's, I mean, Jacksonville, I, I think they all fell asleep on the plane to London and just didn't wake up Dude. when they got there. They were just, I watched that game. I was so excited for like, wake up, Lay in bed, watch watch like the first half before I actually you know get out of bed. Right, and yeah. I wasn't happy with that game either because obviously <laughs> we'll talk about my game shortly. I mean, yeah, dude. After the first quarter, I was already out of bed, like getting ready to to just. I was just getting yeah. It's like the, Jacksonville just did not even bother to play. Thank you, DJ Chark. Yeah, thank you. God, do, do, thank do, you, do, freaking do, do, do. Yeah. Gardner Minshew. I almost started. Metcalf over Chark, too. I was going back and forth. Oh, you should have started Metcalf. Yeah. I mean, then you would have blown Jet out. Yeah. I mean, would have been close at that point. Yeah. I was still would have needed the Monday night game. Right. Yeah, I would have been like 170 points. Yeah, roughly. it would have been a ridiculous yeah. score. So, but yeah, Brittany beat Bruce. Such is life. Bruce is just terrible. Next, we will go to Jess versus Josh. The the what who we've rated as the worst draft, the worst team, the worst team, and has already been buried. The worst person. Team Hairless dominated Team King Dingus one twenty six point two to eighty two point two. Josh she, seemed to be on a roll to a playoff spot this season, but he's slid into a two game losing streak. He has. I mean, when you've got three players in your team that are putting up twenty plus points, you know it's going to be a good week. I mean, Matthew Stafford. Obviously, looked great in that Oakland game. Dude, Josh Jacobs is a 
Beast. Yep. Derrick Beast Henry had his once every three or four weeks blow up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you don't see it very often. When wow. you do, he goes all out. And then, like you just said, Josh Jacobs. And that doesn't even mention Emmanuel Sanders, who's been just scoring points on her bench. Maybe she'll start him eventually. Yeah, yeah. And, and Kyler Murray also had a great week. I mean, obviously, you're not going to start two QBs, obviously. He had a great week. So, I mean, good job, Jess. She had a good, solid showing this week. I mean, yeah. really, the only uh, player on her starting roster that really didn't show up was Allen Robinson. Yeah, I mean, it didn't matter. She she scored almost 130 points. Right. And, you know, she – she beat one of the what one of who we thought was a better team in the league, but I mean, the matchups for Josh, some of them looked good, some of them didn't. But like Rodgers against the Chargers, you thought like 30, 35. Yeah, I was after. I was thinking at least twenty five. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the Chargers just came out like like Josiah said, typical Chargers. Whenever I said, "Holy crap, the Chargers might beat the Packers on Sunday," he was like, "That's just typical Chargers. Yep, that's what that's they do." What they do. And then Stefan Diggs without Adam Thielen in the game, you'd think he would do something. He didn't. Nope. And I mean, what's happened to Chris Godwin after that bye week? He used to be, I mean, he was doing really good, having some great season. But ever since that bye, he has come out really flat. Yeah. I think teams are starting to key on him a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then you've seen Mike Evans start to go nuts yeah. because of that. So they, they, they can't do both. And so if, if they're right. covering Evans, it's going to be Godwin. If they're covering Godwin, it's going to be Evans. Like, it's just it's just how the defense is schemed, but you, you'll never know who they're going to go for. Exactly. So that's that's the risk with wide receivers being your main scores. You know, you don't know for sure. Maybe they're not going to be a target that week. Yeah. So it's especially with two like top tier wide receivers on the same team. Yep. You know, it, it's a tough the best receiving duo in the league is Godwin and Evans. I don't know that I could argue that. You Weren't we talking about that on Sunday? We did. I don't yeah. remember if we recorded it or not. I mean, no, the, the only it. one that I would think will be close, with, and I mean, he's obviously not a wide receiver, but would be you know, Travis Kelsey and uh, Tyreek Hill. Yeah, that's a that's good the, little one yeah. two punch. But no, I would put, I mean, Diggs and Thielen are up there, not this season, but there's. There for a couple of weeks whenever Thielen was healthy. Yeah. Yeah. And Kirk Cousins got out of his little slump, but now with Thielen being hurt, it feels like. I don't know. I don't know what happened on Sunday with Minnesota. I thought they would win that game. Man, Dalvin Pretty Cook even game. didn't didn't play great. Yeah. He just didn't have a big day. I thought he would. That's you. You would think with with a matchup they had that it was going to be really uh, really nice because that defense there is not the best defense. Mm-mm. I mean, well, the, their their game against the the Redskins right. a couple Thursdays ago wasn't great. They only put up yeah. nineteen points on the Redskins, so. Maybe it's just their decline. The, the which Vikings I hope are keep... very yeah. The Vikings are a very inconsistent team. Yeah, thank that's... God because the Dallas Dallas plays them on Sunday night. So right, because I mean, good. if you look at the Vikings roster, that's a nasty team. So Dallas yeah. is going to get absolutely <laughs> yeah. crushed. This will be their this will be their breakout game. Um, Wait, Dallas is playing them when Sunday night. Oh, I thought you said Thursday. Night. I was like, wait, they got to turn around from Monday no, night to Thursday. No. No, I no, would no. I would really hate the NFL if that's anybody. I would hate them if they did the Patriots. That's not okay. I <laughs> play the Patriots Sunday and Monday. Puck, puck, puck the Patriots. Fuck the Patriots. They'd find a way to win. Thank God for Lamar Jackson. Belichick. Yeah, I, I I have respect for Belichick, but fuck the Patriots. All right, moving on. Next, we have unsolicited Dak picks. Josiah throttled, <laughs> throttled. You hear me, Roger? Throttled. Hear injured reserve, beating him by over double. Roger's score one forty six. Or I'm sorry, 141.6 to 67.8. Rodgers should consider renaming his team the Browns because of all that talent <laughs> that's unable to perform. I was actually thinking bye week would be the appropriate <laughs> name for my team because they're not injured anymore. Uh, at least Sean Jackson still is, but he's he's leaving me this week out of the waiver wire. But, uh, man, it's pretty bad when you have Dalvin Cook on your starting lineup and Tevin Coleman for the week he had last week. When your best scoring player is your fucking kicker, yeah, eighteen points for Harrison Butker. Butker, and only one other player scored over ten points. That was Cook. That was Dalvin Cook indeed. Man. Well, first Jason of all, Witten tried real hard though. Jason Witten did pretty he, well. He did well. Yeah. He was he was a good uh, good solid pickup for that uh, to fill in on Hooper's bye week. But man, Russell Wilson killed me. I got Russell say, Wilson himself almost beat me. I'm really disappointed with Adam Thielen putting up that zero right there because they said he was going to play. 
You didn't play. I'm not because that means I beat you in points. I by know. five points. That's, so I, like that's my main. That's my main concern here because I knew after how happy and confident that Roger was last week that the world would correct itself. <laughs> I just, I just want to point out that you could have played Russell Wilson, Zach Ertz, and, and your it. kicker. And you would have beat me. Would have beat you. Actually, no, yeah, you would have beat me. Oh with just those three. God. That's how bad my team is. Deshaun Jackson comes back from injury, scores me one point, and goes right back out and on the IR. Interesting. Thank God, because fuck Philly, too. Right. I, I, I think my bench outscored you as well, and I have three people on a bye. Yeah. No, it no, was close. I didn't quite, it, it was close. It's, it's close. I mean... I would have thought San Francisco's defense would have played a lot better against the Cardinals than they did. I was really surprised. Yeah, they only put out two I points. Was, I was really surprised um, at that. Like I, that was a close game. Um, Drew Brees and Hooper and Devonta Freeman being out on a bye this week really hurt you. It really did. And the you, sad thing is, like I made a last second decision Sunday morning before that early game. I was like, you know what? They're playing. Uh, they're playing Houston. I'm going to start Gardner Minshew because I don't like the Tom Brady matchup against the Baltimore defense. So I decided to start Minshew. Now, mind you, Brady didn't show up either. He had a pretty poor game, but not as bad as Gardner Minshew. The thing is, is that Houston's defense is was it's I'm pretty sure was giving up the most fantasy points to quarterbacks yeah. and wide receivers and lined out wide. Minshew had two fumbles and two <laughs> yeah. picks. Yeah, he didn't do well. So Houston's he, defense showed up. He big. performed so badly that they t- they said that after the bye week, he's not even starting anymore for Jacksonville. Yeah. That's how bad the performance was. Which is st- st- stupid. I mean, I get it. You're, you're, you're paying Nick Foles to be right. the franchise he's, he's quarterback. starting starting uh, money guy. Yeah, but he's going to come out, and he's going to re-injure himself in a few weeks. So, yeah, so It's going to be the Tony Romo of twenty like 2015 or whenever – or 20 – it was a 2015 or 20, whatever no, the year they should have won the Super Bowl and they put Dak Prescott in instead. Right. No, no, no. It was it was before that where he injured his collarbone, broke his collarbone at like the beginning of the season, like week three or four or something like that. He was out, and then he came back, beat the Dolphins, and they played the Panthers. I think it was the year the Panthers went to the Super Bowl. Played yep. the Panthers, got sacked, broke his collarbone again, and you know, then yeah. the rest is history. You hate to see it. Yeah, you really do. It's gonna be uh, bad, bad, bad day for. For injured reserve, who may get a name change to Bobby now that our players are real healthy. That's still going to be injured reserve on this podcast. Okay, fair. I said before we start recording this podcast, did not rename your teams because it's confusing for people who listen. Well, to be fair, and my you, last name wasn't appropriate. True. TPRS. TPRS. I don't. Even, oh yeah, I do remember what that. You means. you remember yeah, what I it do. stands okay. for? <laughs> everybody, everybody in this league knows what it stands for. Yes, that's as far as it needs to get. Unfortunately, and the image is seared into my brain. <laughs> All right, on to the last game. The wrath of Quan Nathan, more like the wrath of Evans, just straight, Jeez. just straight boot on the chosen one, Michael. One thirty point six to ninety six point six, keeping Nathan at the number two spot in the league, even though I'm beating him in points. Even with a loss, Michael's still holding strong in fourth place. But for how much longer? Yeah, Nathan's well, team did great. They did. They really they, did. I mean, as you said, Mike Evans went crazy. Devin Singletary had a great week. Uh, you know. Kenny Galladay looked great. Josh Allen had a solid week. Of course, you know, they were playing the Redskins, so he should have had a solid week. He probably should have done better than he what should he have did. Had double the points. Yeah, he really should have. When you're playing the Washington Redskins, I mean, there's not many teams worse than the Redskins at this oh. point. We're looking at you, New York Jets. Fuck you. That was a that was a subtle shot at the Cowboys. I know it was. <laughs> How does it feel to lose to the only team that lost to the Dolphins? Eh, you know. Transitive property, baby. It's all right. It's okay. Right. We're gonna go on a run, Daniel. The transitive property means that I know what it means. Okay, just making. Sure. <laughs> I know. I know exactly what it means. But you can't really say that if my team already beat the team that you know, no, you're I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure still, you still can. What that's basically I saying. Mean, I mean, they they might I mean, with the way that we played in the first half of that game. If Fitzpatrick would have started, that might have been a different game. We might have lost that game too. So yeah. you know. So you're not. You know, there's there's a little bit of truth there. As, yeah, but we're, we're starting to get our legs underneath of us. It takes us three quarters, but we do it. <laughs> so basically what it's saying is that week nine Dolphins are better than week four Cowboys. That's way too much to think about. Nathan's team <laughs> it was actually week is seven. I think doing Thank you. <laughs> great. Michael's team, I don't, I don't want to say they had a bad week because his leading scorer, the New England defense, only got him three points. Yeah, if they would have scored what they typically scored, Even this would have been yeah. within a 10-point game. Yeah, But, and you then, know, they obviously got exposed by, 
by Mr. Lamar Jackson. Brissett goes down in the thir- the first quarter. Yeah, that so killed him. again, even if he gets 15 points, it's this is a game. It's yeah. like a, a five point game right down to the wire. So as as far as Michael's team is concerned. I know he's he's probably not happy that he lost, but he can also look at Melvin Gordon. Yeah, and he's going to continue to get more almost touches. 25 points. Mm-hmm. Ezekiel Elliott, he didn't score a touchdown, but he had over 130 yards rushing, so that's good. He has Jalen Samuels, so as long as James Conner is out, which... Greg Kittle had a great week, too. So. Maybe out for Greg at least Kittle. two weeks. Greg, did you, Greg Kittle. I know, I got his first name wrong, didn't I? George, sorry. Jesus. George. George but Kittle had a great week. Here. I know. It's no wonder you suck at fantasy. You don't know the know. player's name. <laughs> kind of runs to the time that Falls be called uh, Geralt from Witcher. Geralt. <laughs> Geralt. Geralt. I mean, at least he was in the range of this. Correct. Correct. <laughs> George Kittle with a and then solid week. Marvin Gallup with the catch of the week. <laughs> Marvin Gallup. <laughs> now, I know that's not right. <laughs> His name's Marcus, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Gallup. <laughs> uh, dude, that catch, though, that was pretty. Yeah, so Michael can get that award. So yeah, Nathan. Nathan took out Michael. Um, so let's go ahead and get on to the winners and losers of the week. Um, I know Roger, you said you had been picked out, so why don't so we start with you? My winner of the week is actually you, Daniel. Yeah, because you uh, God that was a, a big win that you had. Really helped you stay in the race for first place. <laughs> yep. I know you're got to be at least gaining on Josiah as far as points are concerned, but the thing is, Josiah is still scoring a ton of points. I was down by twenty five points. So you're shooting down by like twenty. Like nineteen ish. Yeah, roughly. so you're you're closing back in. <laughs> that Adam um, Thielen play hurt me. It, yeah, did. it did. Yeah. So and especially with the comeback win in the fashion that you did, um, as tempted as I was to give that to Nathan this week because of how big of a win it was for him. Also, uh, my loser of the week. I have two. I have? also have two losers of the okay. week. Okay. Uh, my first loser of the week is Jed. Jed, listen, I've won a game since you last won. <laughs> That's, I think that's all needs to be said. I have won Sad. since you have. Sad. My other loser of the week is Michael. That loss is huge for his team because now he is just barely ahead of Brittany, and he doesn't have the easy schedule moving forward. I know he's supposed to play you again, correct? Um, uh, let's look at Michael's schedule. I'm, now I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've got to play. Uh, I think I'll play Brittany, Michael, Josiah, and you, Roger, um, in, in the next four weeks before the playoffs. So I'm pretty sure he's going to play me. Um, but I don't know what his upcoming schedule is, but I know. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We'll, um, we'll get to it in a few it's weeks. Okay. It's okay. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. I, I, I know it's not going to be easy for him moving forward. He's going to have to really, and his team hasn't been playing well at all recently. Mm. So he's going to have to really step it up if he wants to keep that playoff spot and not uh, get beat by his wife again. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, that happens too much anyway. So. Yep. You hate to see it. Yeah. Um, my winner of the week is Brittany, and I'll tell you why. Because with Josh and Jed both losing, it keeps her in the race for the playoffs. She's only one game back from being in the playoffs. Um, well, one game back from Michael, and she just needs to – be, she needs to keep putting up points. She needs more points than ninety points. She needs because yeah. she's still in that. Um, she's still below Michael in points. So if they come out to a tie at the end of the year, Michael will make it because of points. Um, but she's my winner because she's moving. She's moving up, and with Josh and like I said, Josh and Jed both losing, they're all tied now. Yep. Mm-hmm. And now she might be at the bottom of that because of points, but she's still right there. So with another win, if they both lose. She's yeah. Yep. She's working. Now, her mind way you, up. she has played me again, and I already beat her once. Better watch out. Yeah, okay, Roger, we get it. You won a game. Um, I also have two losers. Okay, and it's Josh and Jed. Both of them are my losers. Um, because both teams have both like they have both been in the top four spots. They are both been up there in the like in the playoff contention. Uh, they're both on bad losing streaks. Jed's on a four four game losing streak. Um, Josh is on a two game losing streak. Um, they need to perform better. Like, jo- like Jed's, Jed's performing fine. He's just, he just got beat. Crazy. Like I, yeah, should, I shouldn't have won that game. Like I should not have. Yeah. Won. That was a, that was a miracle win. Um, but the fact that he lost, I mean, he's, he's sitting still lost. four and five. Now. Still a loss and it's yep. still a win for you. That's yep. 
Bottom line, no matter how you win it in fantasy, especially a win's a win, a loss is a loss. Yep. And if me, Josiah, and Nathan, if we can just pull out two more wins in the next four games, Great. nobody else that's that's not us can make the playoffs. So it's right. going to be a fight for it's that, that last, last spot. spot it's still going to be so one. any win is a good win right now. If you're in that five and four or four and five spot, you've got to win. I was dead. You're not going to make Jed. it. In. Is Bruce the only one who's mathematically eliminated at this point? You are too. Okay. I don't know if you're mathematically and eliminated, but we've eliminated you twice. Oh, I, I actually think that you, Bruce, and Jess all are because, the way the well, I mean, down. Jess, if me, Nathan, and Josiah lose out and Jess wins everything, she could still make the right. playoffs, um, but she would be tied with us. She could slide so. into the fourth spot. Yeah, still. she could. Um, but yeah, you and Bruce are, are eliminated from the playoffs. I Actually, no, you're not. Because if Michael loses out and Jed, Josh, Jess, and Brittany all lose out and you win out or or Bruce wins out, you could make the playoffs. So you're wins. saying there's a chance. I'm <laughs> saying there's a chance, but it's not going to happen. No, it's not. I hope it comes down to the final game. I hope you win them all and you've had to face me. And lose by point. And I lose by <laughs> I hope you're winning right until the final play and your kicker misses a field goal. Oh, my God. Damn it, Bucker. <laughs> I've, I've lost games because of missed – kicks before it happens i i'm going the mass winners and losers route as well i have three winners this week and that is me nathan and daniel who are all seven and two you guys we are running away with those, with those playoff all spots. put some distance between us and that yep. fourth place guy so besides jed who who did lose we were the the top three scoring teams in the league. Jed lost, so I'm not counting him there. Yep. And then even though he beat Nathan in points. He, he did beat Nathan in points, but Nathan still beat everybody else in points besides yeah. me and you in the winning column, I guess. Yeah. So it's going to take some kind of colossal four game losing failure for us three to not make the playoffs. Yeah. So even like you said, if we get two wins, even if we go one and three there's a really good chance that, that we're in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. On the flip side, Josh, Jed, and Michael, who are all teetering right there, battling it out for that fourth spot, are now are mathematically keeping Roger alive. Yes. And that's just <laughs> awful. Yeah. My goodness. So they need... I, I don't know if they start to play each other down the stretch or what the case may be, but they need... Some one of those teams just needs to step up and take that fourth spot down, and it might be Brittany because she keeps winning. These guys keep losing, and that would make my heart happy. But then I would have to beat her in the playoffs. <laughs> I'm actually going to pull up the uh, the schedule here and see who everybody plays down the stretch. If you guys want to go over that, since we're not doing the yeah, like we'll we'll, we'll go over the standings. Obviously, um, it, nothing has changed um, other than Brittany moving up and being tied down the stretch. I play Jess next week. Actually, no, that's Jed. So I play Jed. That would be huge for Jed. I know I have a bunch of people on buys. I play Brittany. I play you, Daniel, and then I play Jess. So mathematically speaking, I should be favored to win in two of those games. Mm -hmm. And the other two should be a toss up. I so I feel good down the stretch with what I'm doing. I've got Josh. Jed, Brittany, and Daniel. I could see myself winning a couple of those. If I, your team, even I honestly don't <laughs> <laughs> like not to be an ass. But if Josh team, if Josh's team can like do what it what it typically does, you don't have a chance. Right. Even this week like, when Josh's team didn't do anything, he still beat he's you. Still, <laughs> this is true. Yeah. But Jed's on that epic losing streak. Yeah. Yeah, but he's still putting up 140 That's points. That's true. You're I'm not doing that. I'm doing that have, once all season. Yeah, you're going to have to do what you did last finding week. finding ways to lose, though, and it might yeah. be karma. Um, it is. It's with Brittany, be. I beat her once, which means she's yeah. going to beat me on revenge. Uh, you never know. And then I play you, and we, all, we know how that's going to go. It, you're, you'll probably end up beating me because I destroyed your ass earlier in the season. That was a hell of a beatdown. That was yeah. almost as bad as what Josiah did to me yesterday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yesterday. It was rough. I doubled him up. Yeah, so obviously I've got Brittany... And then I go on to face Michael. Then, obviously, I face you, Josiah. And then the last game of the year, I face Roger. So 
You know, I, I can go – I I'm probably going to go two and two in the last four games of the season. Mm-hmm. Like I could see myself going two and two. Um, at best, three and one. Um, Not, you're in. Yeah. Michael, down the stretch, is facing Bruce, Daniel, Jess, and Josh. So that's actually a pretty favorable that's, he's got a very matchup. Good, yeah. he, he is probably not favored to win against you. And then Josh there in the last week, that might be winner makes the playoffs. Well, and here's who is probably in the best position. Nathan has Jess, Josh, Jed, and Bruce. He's in a really good spot yeah, he's got scheduling really good position. his yeah. last four weeks. I could see I could see one or two of those teams. I mean, Jed's Jed's Jed and somebody Josh potentially could beat him. Yeah, because Jed but he should handle Jess. He should handle Bruce. Yeah, like Jed, like you, you we saw this past week. He he's got the potential to put up 140 points. And he just got unlucky. Yeah. Um, so it's but yeah, I mean like going three and one through that is totally like I don't think he'll win all four, just because there's a couple of tough games there. But you know, three and one through that stretch, that's very, very uh, plausible. I think. Yeah. So he might be the biggest lock for the playoffs right now. Yeah, I would say so. And then, all right. So another bubble team right here, Josh. Did we do Josh? No. He's we didn't. facing Roger next week. That's a he's win. He's facing Nathan, who, even though he is doing really well, his team has won some games where he has not done well. I don't so, think he's gone through the bye week woes yet. I haven't looked at this week. Yeah, but there's a good chance that that he could have. Well, he's got a lot of Bills players. They've already had their bye, but yeah, you know, it it, it really it, th- that right now, the bye weeks could really hinder some teams because the majority of my good players have already had their buys. Like yeah, Baltimore, uh, McCaffrey's had the, had his buy. Well, and unfortunately, Josh doesn't have a lot of players on buy this week. Yeah, so, so yeah, Josiah just went through a, a huge bye week. Right, and, 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 and I have another one next out. week yeah. as well. So th- these bye weeks could come into play. We'll have to like d- like do like a little bit of research yeah. for next week, so we can kind of go through that because things are starting to get a little heated down the street. Josh's team is it's incredibly well balanced as far as uh, when his players are on buy. Yeah. Because yeah. he has no more than two players on a bye any time the rest of the season. But anyway, he faces Roger, Nathan, Bruce, and Michael down the stretch. Three and one is not that far fetched. Four and zero is possible if Nathan has a bad week and Michael has another bad week, and then Josh could possibly find himself in the winner's circle. I'm just saying, if anybody, if, if Jed somehow makes playoffs and gets to the finals, whoever's facing him, I'm trading you like. Dalvin Cook for nothing. Just Collusion. You can't do that. Collusion. Oh. It, you just now you can do what I did last year and just drop a player because you didn't need him, and then you know tell the person that needed that player to pick him up and then he wins. Oh. But we also did that because we didn't want the trophy to go across the country. <laughs> right. Fair. <laughs> I kind of did that. Sorry. No. <laughs> I. It, it didn't matter anyway. Jed beat him pretty fucking right. bad, and Ebron didn't do shit for him <laughs> in the playoffs, so it didn't matter. Um, Jess though, or not Jess, Brittany. Um, she's got to play me, Josiah, Roger, then ends it with Jed. That might be the toughest path to the playoffs. Yeah, as far as teams that are in contention, as those first, I mean, you and Josiah, she's got those to, are tough games. She's got to win three of those, and I don't see it. I don't see it. But she'll, she'll she, win one if she does win three mm. of those. It's against teams that are ahead of her in the standings at yeah. the same time. So right. yeah, she'll definitely win one. We know this. Just blame me. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no shame. I don't know, what man. What if that's Ro- the only one? Roger's going to make a run. <laughs> He's going to make a run. I, and I don't run anywhere. Let's be constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right. So. That's all the bubble teams. We don't need to go over Bruce yeah, or Jess yeah. or Roger. Nah. Did we go over Roger? Yeah, I think I went over myself, yeah. <laughs> you always go over yourself. <laughs> to be fair, everybody always goes over. Makes them so big. <laughs> Rude. They have to go around you. They do. About you? Around or over. <laughs> All right. It's a long way around. Let's get down the standings here. Tied for first place. I'm not doing first, second, third because these fucking divisions are going away next year. It's it's annoying because I should be in second place, not third. Um, tied for first. Josh. Or Josh. Drufta. Sorry, Josiah. It's okay. Uh, Josiah, Nathan, and myself tied for first at seven and two. Sitting solely in fourth place. Michael at five and four. 
And we've got three teams that are tied for fifth place. That's Josh, Jed, and Brittany at four and five. And we've got one person sitting in sixth place. That's Jess. I guess you could say that. Or no, it'd be it'd be eighth, eighth place. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Jess at three and six. And then two people tied for ninth or last place, Roger and Bruce. So yeah, that's where we're sitting right now. Like I said, nothing much has changed on that front. I just like to let everyone know that I am winning in the tiebreaker. So that's just I'm the elite of the elite right now, and I'm number one. He's Kenny Omega. In the tiebreaker. Uh, indeed. But Daniel is on yeah. a five-game win streak. Nathan is on a four-game win streak. So that's that's what you need to be doing if yeah, you want to make the Yeah, points. It, you know, in this league, if you win more games, it's more likely that you're going to win more games. I've got to beat you. I, well, I, you want to go? <laughs> I'm just saying, because I've, I've only lost, the only person in my division that I've lost to is you. Yeah. So I got to win that next game or the next matchup. And who so. was your other loss to? Um, it was to Michael. I believe. Okay. Yeah. I've lost to Jed in week one, I believe. I've lost to everybody. Week two. And everybody else, including people who don't even play in this league. No, I lost to Nathan. I, I remember to Nathan as well. Yeah, yeah. I, he rubbed it in my face. I remember. All right. Well, yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a fun weekend in Buffalo. It's weird, we're brothers. Man. Uh, also from West Virginia. So tune in next okay. week when Roger and I are the only ones left, and Daniel's arrested. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna do. A, I, I don't really think there's any need for a funeral this week. I mean, they're still digging changed. Under. There and there's. Can we just bury Roger again? I mean, we can. They're still digging the hole, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. For the third time, we're going to have to get a backhoe, a trailer, a dump truck. Roger's team buried. There's going to be a, ne- there's a, ne- a meteor needs to hit to leave a crater to bury, man. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. And Deshaun Jackson as well. <laughs> That's all. All right. No moment well, of silence because you don't deserve it. Yeah. Well, here's a moment. All right, and we're back. <laughs> um, I guess we'll get into next week's matchups. I don't. I don't remember any smack talk really. No, we uh, were just sending back week. Jeffrey Epstein memes. That yeah. was pretty much the whole chat this yeah. week. Yeah. Yeah. Epstein didn't kill himself, so we'll just put that out there. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get into the matchups. Let's do it. First off, we've got myself over on genocide versus Brittany, and she has an issue. With quarterback, both of her started or both of her quarterbacks are on by this week, so she's going to have to be hitting the waiver wires. Um, obviously, right now I'm projected to win by a lot, but she has people on her roster that are on bye weeks, and we're waiting for the waiver wires. Um, she has a massive amount of players on by. Yeah, it's not. It does not really favor her at all. I, d- even regardless of who she picks up, I was looking through my my matchups today. Obviously, McCaffrey. Even against the best, one of the better defenses in the league, he still got me almost 30 points at San Francisco. Um, I got Lamar Jackson at Cincinnati, Marlon Mack at Miami, Tyreek Hill at Tennessee, uh, Mari Cooper's at Minnesota. That might not be as good. Mark Andrews at Cincinnati. Um, I'm getting rid of the, of, I'm doing some switching to my defense, but I like my matchups. Well, something to look out with her, too. She does not have enough wide receivers on her roster she has, to fill her team this week. Yeah. She has to pick up a wide receiver yeah. out of free agency in order to I, uh, fill her starting lineup. I will yeah. say that this doesn't necessarily – I mean, even if Brittany loses this week, it doesn't necessarily mean the end of her season. No, well, not at all. And I don't think no. she needs to blow up her team no. either because she has seven people on a bye this week, and as well as her team has been doing – she might have to just consider, you know what, I'm going to take the L this week, get as many points as I can, and then try to win the final three games. Mm-hmm. Because I've seen it before where you have a team, you you drop some players, you try to pick up waiver wires who, I mean, they're on the waiver for a reason, and you try to win a week that Daniel might score 140 points. Yep. So, And then you can't get some of your better players back. So mm-hmm. she has to kind of... Do some deciding who she needs to drop. I mean, she has she has an extra defense, an extra kicker, so it's not that far fetched that she could pick up two really solid players. But it, like I said, she she doesn't need this win. It would be great for her, but her she also doesn't want to drop 
everybody. Her focus yeah. should be on having a high scoring week just yeah. for standings purposes and, you mm-hmm. know, a possible playoff push. That would really be her um, best bet to be focusing on this week yeah, with all the players she has on by. She could probably drop her, her extra defense and extra kicker and mm-hmm. just throw throw an o- offense together. Just have a starting 10 or whatever it is. Yeah. All right. Yep. That's pretty much, I mean, it, it's tough. We we should have done this on Wednesday just because of waivers. But, yeah, you know. but you know, there's that other podcast. That really crappy one about video games. Yeah. yeah. Next year we'll 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 reschedule this for like a Wednesday or a Thursday or something. Maybe do it before Guru yeah, next go. year. That way we we know what's going on in waivers and people can set their lineups and stuff. Mm-hmm. So makes it yeah, for sure. make, makes this segment a little uh, bit better. I'm picking Daniel to win that, by the way. I'm also picking myself to win it. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Next up. We've got injured reserve versus Team King Dingus. This is an interesting matchup, in my opinion, but not that interesting. I gonna lose. I don't know. I know I'm favored right now in projections, but my team is not set. Does not have a a starting running back or a starting defense. They are both on a bye. But Josh has been the worst luck this season so far when it comes to he needs a win, his team doesn't show up. Mm-hmm. And weeks that, I mean, his his team has scored some of the highest points in the league this year, but they've also scored some of the lowest points in the league this year as well. So oh. he, he needs this win. This should be a cakewalk, but if we know anything about cake, it's that Roger is great. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I got Drew Brees against Atlanta. That should be a very good matchup for me. Yes. I've got Dalvin Cook against Dallas. That should be a very good uh, matchup for me. Nope. John Brown nope. versus it Cleveland. Sorry. It should be great. a great matchup Golden for me. Tate versus the Jets. Great. Austin Hooper back against a really tough Saints defense, but Austin Hooper is the leading tight end in points this season. Right. Now, and, is Matt Ryan playing this week? It I. It might actually benefit Hooper if he doesn't play. Right. because True. And, of course, Tevin Coleman's against Seattle. That's not a terrible matchup. So I am going out on a limb, a little twig branch that is not very stable. But I'm going to pick Roger to win. I'm picking Josh in a close game. Just because it's me and I know that how my team made it to not show up week after week. He will probably slide Todd Gurley in. Against that Steelers defense. That's what I was just looking at. Which Uh, is stout. And he does not have a backup defense. He does have an empty roster spot, though, so he might be going out there to get the big hitters. And I do have a couple Mm -hmm. waiver wire um, moves going, too. Um, While you're on the topic of Steelers defense. I feel like this is going to be the biggest waiver claim week of the season. Minka Fitzpatrick, by the way. Hell yeah. Minka Fitzpatrick. Patrick. What a beast. <laughs> the other day where I was like, Fitzpatrick's a beast. I think it was, it was two weeks ago. We yeah. said it on the podcast yeah. last week. And you're like, wait, which one? I'm like, <laughs> Minka? Of course. <laughs> Not the one, the, the one that still plays with the Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> what a hell of a trade. Yeah. That was a great trade. That was, I mean, I, there's nobody we could have drafted with that pick that would be no. as have as much of an impact, especially as quickly as it did, yeah. as Minka Fitzpatrick. And the Jets yeah. wanted two first-round picks for Jamal Adams. Yeah, yeah. fucking fuck yeah. that. I would, much okay. rather, I would rather have Minka Fitzpatrick. And they wanted one of our offensive linemen, either Zach Martin or Tyron Smith. And <laughs> Name? Get the fuck out of here. After that trade, since Minka Fitzpatrick has been on the Steelers, name a better safety in the league. Nobody. Nope. There's not been a better safety in the league. There has been some stuff that's happened in the league. I know we don't know. Actually, the refs have been better safeties in the league. But, I mean, we talked about Nick Foles being the guy. Uh, Cam Newton's officially on IR. Yep, Yep, he is, indeed. Is there any other big news? I know James Conner might be out for another week. Sean Jackson also went on the IR. Sean Jackson out. uh, Brissett is questionable this week. Again, let's flip over to Michael's game. There was a couple other big ones. Yeah. I can't remember because I was watching it this morning on what, Good Morning Football or whatever. They went over like the it was like the top three. Deshaun Jackson was the third. There's a couple other big ones. I yeah, can't, I can't remember. Well, let's just yeah, let's anyway. flip to the next game because he mentioned Brissett, yes. who Michael has going against Miami, which you think would be great, but is Brissett going to play? It's going to be Brian Hoyer. He is excited that AJ Green is supposed to come back against Baltimore, but what's that going to wow. look like? I don't wow. know. 
Okay, so let's just go over Bruce. So it's Michael versus Bruce. Bruce has one, two, three, four of his starters on a bye week. He's got uh, Auden Tate on his bench, who is – or not, sorry. Uh, Chase Edmonds on his bench, doubtful. Delaney Walker, questionable. Mark Walton, suspended. Um, Michael's going to win oh. this game. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm going with Michael. Whether Brissett plays or not, I'm going with Michael. Michael uh, needs to find a quarterback. Yeah. He, this has been his – his woes all season. He doesn't even have another quarterback on his roster. Oof, no, he yeah, doesn't. Yeah. And the Patriots are on a bye week. His yep. defense. His best scoring. He might have mm-hmm. Kareem Hunt back soon. To be fair, he might not need a quarterback to win this game. That's not wrong, but <laughs> points are points, and especially where he is in the yep. standings, he He's needs need those that. points. He needs them badly. Uh, Michael, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice, but you probably don't want it from me because, you know, Look at my team. So, Michael, if I were you, I would go into the waivers right now. No, would, don't give anything away because I might need a quarterback soon. Shush. Kyle right. Allen's sitting okay, right there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let me. So I, I, I already said what, how doubtfuls and buys on Bruce's team. Both of his starting running backs are on a buy. Both of his benched running backs, one is doubtful, one is suspended. He has no running backs. Julian Edelman on a buy. Really wish I was playing Bruce. His tight end. <laughs> Dallas Goddard on a bye. bye. And Auden Tate, his backup tight end. Or no, wait. He has Delaney Walker. Delaney Walker, his backup tight end is questionable. So he, woof. It's not going to be good for the a thing Bruce with at all. Bruce is that with so many people on a bye week and every team is slightly affected that by that, he's not going to get all the players that he's going out to. Well, he isn't, no one way. thing is he is he's, number one in the waiver order. He is. That's the only thing he's got working for him. But that week. means he gets the first pick. That's and it. That's it. Just one. So he'll get the the first person he chooses, but I think based on the fact that he needs to pick up so many players to fill out his team that he, there's not enough players on the waivers. He to, might be able to pick up some after the waiver period's over. And yeah, then, that's what I would do. But I'm saying like the quality and the points. I don't think there's enough players. No, out I'm not, there for not him. out there in free agency at this point of the season. Yeah, because people like me who are like hiding people on their bench that are doing okay. Yeah, because I don't want anybody else to have them. And I mean, I constantly yeah. I, I check I check out the waivers every day. You know, I'm always watching to see okay who's here. Mm-hmm. Is there a place I can make an improvement? Yep. Obviously, Deshaun Some Jackson's got to be off my team this week. And I've got another waiver uh, in place too. So, yeah, who is it? Somebody. <laughs> Somebody that I used to know. Yeah, Josiah made that mistake of was I think it was Disley saying so he's going out and get Disley. Well, I had and I we was tried. stashing Disley on my bench. He and was do he was like top ten tight end in the league. And that uh, yeah, he went he, down. He went down. And he went out hard. Yep. And that is hurting me this week because Zach Ertz is on a bye. Yep. Michael's going to win. He's going to beat Bruce. Yes. Let's flip over. Handle it. All right. Next up, we've got Team Hairless, Jess versus the Wrath of Quan Nathan. And as of right now, it's a 50% win probability for each team. Yeah, Jess it's like less than a half of a point. to win by point three. Jess yeah. is. Yeah, just barely. I mean, whew. I'm looking at the matchups, and here's the thing. Nathan has Josh Allen against the Browns. That's good for him. He has Saquon Barkley against the Jets. Yeah, that's good for him. That's true. He has Devin Singletary against the Browns. That's good for him. Uh, Evans Mike Evans Arizona. against Arizona. Holy I don't shit. understand how this line is as close as it is. Well, I'll tell you, because Jess's team put up how many points last week? 100. And, 100 and, it was over 120, maybe 130. Yeah. And that is with Allen Robinson doing as poorly as he did. This lineup that she has set right now, I mean, she could probably put Michael Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders in. I'm not going to make any suggestions because whatever she does, her team is uh, her team versus a lot of other teams in this league is looking pretty good. So b- before we <laughs> go, I've said this for like fucking four weeks now. Okay, Jess Goskowski is on injured <laughs> reserve. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's still on your roster. What the fuck are you doing? And when he says injured reserve, he does not mean my team. He, no. He means he's on the <laughs> actual injured reserve in the NFL, along with Deshaun Jackson and Ben Roethlisberger. Yeah. Cut his ass. Yeah, yeah. go pick up somebody. God. But, Sorry. That just like, Every time I look at her team, it just bugs me. I'm like, why? And, and here's the thing. Derrick Henry already had his offensive explosion for the month of November, so he's not going to go off again. <laughs> yeah. we, we know this. Yeah. He's not know. consistent. Versus Kansas City, it <laughs> could happen. Dalvin Cook didn't do shit. Le'Veon Bell versus the Giants. I mean, they look. That's a good matchup for her. Le'Veon Bell is questionable, though. They're that. 
Oh, Very that's so right. Good. There's that's a right. good chance. She has Kyler Murray versus Tampa Bay, or Matt Stafford versus Chicago. I would honestly start Matt Stafford against uh, Chicago. I'll be completely honest with you. I mean, I Chicago I think, has not looked good over the last couple of weeks. But she could pull Allen Robinson out and put either Michael Thomas or Emmanuel Sanders in, and then Curtis Samuel. I mean, that's just a coin flip. What she kind of wants to do with her receivers, but she's got some depth there. Right. Like I said, as far as bye weeks go and injuries go, her team is looking pretty solid compared to a lot of other teams. Nathan's so, team, I feel like with James Conner on a bye, well, not on a bye, he's injured. He's injured. With, I don't know. Michelle's on a bye. I, I really, I like Nathan here. I don't think it's going to be close. I like Nathan by at least 30 points. I'm Depending going, on what happens with Bell. The matchups um, are huge for Nathan. They're I not want that, Jess to win. They're they're really not too bad for for Jess either. I mean Jess Chicago's be, hasn't been doing shit on defense. Well, um, to be fair, their offense is going three and out and the well, yeah. the other team's offense is getting involved at the fifty that, yard line. That affects them. Michael yeah, Trubisky's in the waivers too. You can always pick him <laughs> Michael back. Michael Trubisky. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said Michael. Comma, Trubisky is. Oh. oh, oh, we all know his name was Marcus. Yeah, Shit. good, good, good save there, buddy. <laughs> I mean, I think this one, it, it could go either way, but yeah, with with Michael Bell and Michael Henry and Michael Robinson <laughs> and Michael Samuel, <laughs> their names are Marcus, <laughs> Douglas Singletary, and Mario Evans, and. Stephon Barkley. Kyrie Gall- Galladay. <laughs> Jerry Allen. <laughs> William Lutz. Giovanni Olsen. Oh, wait, his name is Will. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are you trying to... F- <laughs> That's how little Roger knows about football, guys. I don't follow kickers. Sorry. Um, This one's tough. I might... I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick... I'm going to pick Jess. I'm going to pick Jess. Yeah. Jess, if you're out there, listen to me. Drop <laughs> fucking kicker. God damn it. Be Nathan. At this Be point, Nathan. I really think she either A, doesn't listen to the podcast, she doesn't. or B, she secretly does and she keeps him on her roster just to piss you off. I think I think that what, what it really is is that Jed really takes care of her team but doesn't do any big moves. Right. Because he doesn't want to cheat. He makes sure there's a so, starting line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's probably what he does. He's probably like, hey, do this, do this, do this. But, you know. All right. Are I we going to have a relegation? If she finishes last, are we going to? Are we going to relegate her out of the league and bring Lyndon back? No. <laughs> no. Just kidding. No. Screw you, Lyndon. No, because, God, Roger's bad enough at injuring players. Exactly. We don't need another one back. Imagine, if, two imagine if Lyndon and I were both playing this season. God. The whole fucking NFL. They would have canceled the season. You guys wouldn't be able three. to draft until, like, round five. <laughs> <laughs> None of the good players you can have because they always get injured. All right, last game of the week. We've got Jed, bald bear fighter, going up against Josiah. By week picks. central. Yeah, holy hell. Um, right now, Jed has four people in the starting lineup on a bye, which is Carlos Hyde, Muhammad Sanu, who showed up it's in not the bad Patriots offense. Uh, Eagles defense, which is you know, meh. Uh, Jake Elliott, all of them on a bye. He does have players on his uh, bench, though, that could fill out some of those spots. I have five people on a bye this week. And Mahomes may be back this week, which will be huge for Jed. Yeah. That would be big for him. Yep. Uh, so I am currently without a starting tight end. Thank you, Will Disley. Yeah. Speaking of which, everybody that's listening that that's in this league, go ahead and and because uh, uh, Josiah is like last in the waiver order. So um, yeah. everybody go pick out the top fucking nine tight ends so he can't have a tight end. Man. Done. <laughs> Hurts. That's just mean. That's, is that collusion? That's kind of is. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> bad. No, it's fine. Also, without a kicker, who knows? I I mean, kickers are, you know, it's week to week. I, I don't know. My kicker was the only one who showed up last week. <laughs> well, yeah. This is another situation where I kind of talked about Brittany, where my team's been doing so well. I don't know how crazy I'm going to go because if I lose to Jed this week, so what? I'm still probably going to be making the playoffs down the stretch. It might suck for Josh, Michael, and Brittany. I'm not saying I'm tanking to help Jed win. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying... I don't know how wild I'm going to go in the waiver wire just to make something happen because Zach Ertz put up 20 points last week. My kicker put up double-digit points last week. I have – I'm not going to drop Sutton. He's been one of my pickups of the year. DeAndre Hopkins, mm-hmm. even though he hasn't been elite, he has been one of my better receivers, which is a weak spot for me. Right. So 
Well, one of the problems your team has this week is you don't exactly have a lot of favorable matchups. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Chubb against Buffalo, that sucks for you. Russell Wilson against the 49ers, um, not good. Um, Even Phillip Rivers against Oakland is kind of questionable, but not too bad. You do in your favor if you get Alvin Kamara. If he's healthy. If he's healthy, you've got him against Atlanta. Pretty sure that they also said today that Thielen won't be starting on Sunday. I know that as well, and I don't have anybody. Yeah, he's protected zero. Well, I have, uh, I have maybe Eckler or Latavius Murray even that I could slide, but that I have Latavius Murray or Alvin Kamara starting, whoever is right. Healthy. And you know whichever one does start is going to put up a lot of points. Well, the Eckler thing with Gordon being back and them firing and them giving all that to, I mean, that could, that I mean, you know, Eckler might get you 13, 15 points, but he's probably not going to put up the 30 points. Well, he yeah. hasn't since Gordon has yeah. been back, he, but he's still putting up points. He's still the fourth ranked. That's how good he was doing. He's oh, yeah. the fourth ranked running back overall. Mm-hmm. But he, he like like I said a couple weeks ago, he's shaky to where he's got two points all game, three points all game, forty yard touchdown catch. Okay, double digits. Thank the Lord. Yeah, but he's just one big play away from scoring me two points. And so I, it, he's due for one of those games. Yeah. And that's why he's actually starting on my bench right now. But like I said, that's a Thursday game. That's another thing that's not in my favor. Yeah. I have a bunch of Thursday games. I have, um, Oh no, just Mike Williams and Austin Eckler. But I mean, I, I'm not excited about this week. I think I'm going to lose. Yeah. I think Jed's going to win. Uh, I've got Jed. I think it'd be, Somewhat close. I don't think I mean, it's going to be a blowout by any means. The, the nice thing about Jed's team in the bye weeks is that his big point scores aren't on a bye week. Yeah. Right. You know, um, Marvin Jones Jr., Tyler Lockett. Um, if Patrick Mahomes is back, Travis Kelsey. Um, you know, Carlos Hyde did okay. But I don't know. He's got Kenyon Drake versus Tampa Bay on his bench, so he'll probably throw him up there. Because Kenyon Drake, Drake has been doing great. Off, he's been doing week. great. Yeah. That's another scary thing about Jed's team. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to win this week because I don't want Jed to get into the playoffs because I don't want to face him in the playoffs. Yeah, because he's still scoring all the points. Yeah, and mind you, by then you know he's gonna have a healthy Patrick Mahomes for sure. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm projecting Jed to go to 500 this week. Five and five. I, I think he wins. Oh, he's yeah. not going to score anywhere near five hundred points. No, no, no. Come on, five, man. five and five. <laughs> five and five. Come on, man. Because yeah. yeah, you get it. Yeah. So, uh, Disney movie. I. Uh, you know what? Look Throw at this. I'm Goog- I just googled <laughs> Disney movies because I don't know any Disney movies. <clears throat> what? Where's Nathan when you need him? Oh man. Frozen. Frozen. Oh. All right, hold on. Let me Google Frozen. <laughs> Have you never seen Frozen? I've seen it a bunch Let of times. Let it go. Let it go. All right, hold on. I said to my uncle whenever I was younger. Um, <laughs> just kidding. My uncle's awesome. Frozen. So, we'll, so Elsa. Who's Elsa? That's got to be the Ice Queen. That's the Ice Queen. That's. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I think I think you're Elsa because your heart is cold as ice. It's cold as ice. Okay, I, yeah, I can. Yeah. Uh, Roger, you are the abominable snowman. There's not an, an abominable snowman in Frozen. <laughs> there is indeed. I saw him. There he's a, a big... Sn- like the ice monster? The ice monster. Oh, the yeah. ice monster. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't it's, know what he's called. I'm it's, not scary enough to be the ice monster. Josh okay. Josh is the guy in that little hut. Like the little... <laughs> the, the green like troll thing? No, 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 no. The guy, like whenever um, the... Uh, not Elsa, her, her her sister. What's her name? Anna. Uh, Anna. Uh, she's like trekking through the snow and finds that little hut in the middle of like oh, nowhere. Yeah. The guy's like, hello. Like that guy? Yes. That's Josh. That is Josh Hands for sure. down. Roger's the snowman. Like uh, Olaf, he's not the monster. The one with the Oh, the, I'm Olaf? The car- Rod no. Josh? No, Josh. No, no. Roger's Olaf. I mean, why would he be the monster? He's the biggest guy I could think of. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. But I have the warmest heart, just I. He's Olaf. This is just the worst. <laughs> let's let's pick a different one. <laughs> one that one that Josiah knows more about. I don't and to be I've seen this movie 200 times because I babysit kids before. But, but do you watch it? No. Pocahontas. Fuck it. <laughs> no. Dibs on the raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to have one that's got like more. Like, like a lot of characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we did Winnie the Pooh on Guru's Tandis the other day. <laughs> Can we just do Snow White? 
Oh, <laughs> which good. One, which oh, one of the dwarves oh, is who? Oh. Okay, so there's Sleepy, Sneezy, Grumpy, Happy, Dopey, Bashful, doc. and Doc. Yeah. You're Doc. Okay. Just because it doesn't rhyme and it doesn't oh. belong in our league. We both wear glasses. <laughs> Fair. Indeed. All right. Wait, shouldn't that be Bruce then? Because he's an android. Oh, jeez. No, he's Bashful because... Even though he's bashful by force, because he, we don't talk we, to him we because put he's him an android. out of the group chat, so we made him bashful. We have Grumpy, which is it could be any Bonner to be honest. Grumpy is I Michael. think Grumpy is definitely Michael. Grumpy is Michael. Yeah. Dopey is Josh. All right, sleepy. Okay, sneezy. I'm gonna make Brittany because she's allergic to everything. Okay. <laughs> uh, happy, oh, man, doesn't belong in this league. We can go ahead and get rid of him. All right. It's okay. Somebody could be like Snow White and the Evil Queen too. We don't Snow have to do White. that one. Snow White is Jed. Okay. Because he was Snow Walter he was, White. He was Halloween. Snow Walter White. I love yeah. that costume. I mean, did I make myself something yet? No. What am I? Um, sleepy. Today sleepy. you're sleepy. I'm, dude, I'm <laughs> sleepy today. I'm struggling. Okay. Is and Nathan? Nathan is the Wicked Witch. That makes Snow Evil White Queen. eat the oh, apple. Oh, yeah, it's the Evil Queen in disguise. Yeah. So who's Daniel? Yeah, who is he Snow White? No, wait, Jed's no, Snow, Snow White. Oh, man, I forgot about I th- that. I think mm-hmm. Daniel could be the I prince. I think you're the forbidden apple that she eats, the poisonous <laughs> apple that Snow White <laughs> So you're saying that Jed eats Daniel? Indeed. He eats my ass. <laughs> Falls right to sleep <laughs> forever. It's like eating With right Jess. Now. We can get Jess. <laughs> Jess is Prince Charming. Okay. For sure. He was probably terrible at fantasy football, but just a great <laughs> overall person. Speaker, did you see Josiah's post today of the dogs underneath his table? Who, me? On Instagram. I'm Josiah. J- Jed, sorry. Jew. I haven't seen it. I, I never look at Instagram. This happens every week to one of us. Um, but it's like Jed's dogs under the table Oh. at their house. And you see Jess's feet, and she's sitting on like the bench. <laughs> and she's like on her toes because she's so short. She can't even reach the floor. Listen, this just reminded me. the funniest thing. That just reminded me of the Amari Cooper meme with Jed's dogs. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Did that you see funny. the video I sent of Rich Eisen's dogs when that black cat ran on the field? Yeah. And they were just <laughs> yeah. like, oh, my gosh, football is yeah. the best. There was another one of a guy posted. Um, somebody that I'm friends with on Facebook posted it. I think it was theirs. Um, but they, he had three black cats, and they all ran to the screen and up next to the TV, <laughs> and were like smacking the TV. Um, like, go, buddy, go! But we're we're on TV, guys. <laughs> yep. MVP of the week, that black cat, because they turned the tide for Absolutely. the Cowboys. He's the real winner this week, dude. Yep. He bit. I thought I texted you, and I was like, Cowboys season's over. Black cat, <laughs> yeah. no, nope. The Giants. He killed the yep. Giants and Jed's team. Yep. Dead. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. What's my favorite way yeah. to wrap a podcast? Shut no, the fuck no, up. This isn't shut up. <laughs> my gosh. This Wrong shit. Um, we're not affiliated with the NFL yet. Um, we're barely yeah. affiliated with Thanks Roger. For, yeah. I wouldn't be affiliated with me either, guys. It's yeah. okay. I don't if you me. come in last in this league this year, nobody's going to affiliate. At you. least he came. We're canceling gurus, Roger. <laughs> canceling gurus. <laughs> yep, looks like my schedule's getting a little more freed up. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All Tune right, in everybody. next week with the Jurus of Jaming. Where <laughs> <laughs> starring Ryan Turner. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and we're out of here. Bye.